Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 68. Let's go ahead and get started. How dare you look at my things without my consent? Great God. Her Grace is helping you, Your Grace. Please don't shout at her. Besides, why would anything private be on this table? Really? So they really are private? Please do not look at that, Your Grace. His Grace says those are private documents. Uh, uh, I, I won't look. Here. Oh, it would appear your young master and ladies as Sleddy have come. I believe that should do for today. Very shoddy. Did not tell anyone about those documents. They must be something very important. All right. How are you feeling? Oh, slutty. Those documents. They seemed like interior designs. Plans. And they were all sketched by hand. He must have worked on them for a long time. It felt as it felt as though the paper had seen a lot of use. I can clearly read his face now, probably because he only just woke up. He seems like a different person now that he suddenly has many expressions. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 68 These letters are for you, Your Grace. <clears throat> are you alright? Your face. Did something happened this morning. I'm fine. Self, he is so young and he hasn't received a proper education to be an heir. If something bad happens again, you should be the next in line. Mother! Uh, I mean, your grace. I thought we already talked about this. Their deal has woken up. He's fine now. And can you guarantee that things will be fine again in the future? Your eldest nephew also died like that, you know. But you wouldn't have known since you weren't there. The guilt. I'm here now, am I not? And something bad could always happen to me as well. Huh? Listening to that conversation felt so inappropriate. I couldn't stand it. And that took me by surprise. I can't believe Phine Phineas was Gloria's son. Their deal and Shersha had been calling him uncle, which is only natural considering their kinship. But it's just, I never seen Phineas address her as his mother. More importantly, the nephew she talked about was their deal's brother. I see. So Selfie's father passed away from seizures. Is the Grand Duke still in the Annex? No, I believe he's in the main building now. The Imperial Secretary should have uh, arrived. But looking back, I'm certain something bad had happened in the palace. Because it seemed as if His Grace has been drugged. If something bad happens again. It keeps bothering me. Why? Is this what you call the Imperial Secretary's courtesy? Tell me. 
must I grant you my presence whenever you wish it? I, I don't understand, Your Grace. As His Majesty has ordered, I only came to see if you were all right. His Majesty's order. Then you have should have at least brought the seal proving you're here in an official capacity. Even a vassal would take this as an offense if you had done the same to them. And yet you dare to hide behind His Majesty's name? I had an audience with His Majesty six days ago. But you wish to see how I'm doing, you say? The likes of you. Th there's a matter to discuss. The, the rebels and... Tell me. Why should I be involved in everything that happens in the Empire? What about the Grand Master of the Imperial Knighthood? What does he ever do? From what I hear, he caused trouble daily at pubs, fixated on picking up common women. Shut your mouth sh- Keep your mouth shut, or I shall reveal all those misdeeds and demands that you be replaced. Huh? Your grace! This can't be. I was rightfully ordered by His Majesty to- Send my word to His Majesty. Tell him if he wishes to keep an eye on me. At least send someone with his proper class. <sighs> My lord, her grace has... Perishati. Are you all right? Kicking him out? Oh, it's fine. Not that. I mean you. Huh? Uh, never mind. Mm. You must be going my way. No, I just wanted to walk with you. Oh, maybe. Well... Don't worry about your private documents. I won't tell anyone, I promise. Yes, I know. Yuri said so. Did you not? I thought that was why he was following me. The other night. Why did you come at such a late hour? Did you have something to ask me? Pardon? No, that wasn't it. I did have something to tell you, yes, but I didn't think you'd wake up then. No, I mean, I was worried for you, so... But please don't get me wrong. I was only around for less than five, mi five minutes. I was going to leave, then you woke up. Uh, I see. Uh, hmm? It must have looked like I've been there all night. Come to think of it, I told him everything I wanted to tell him after he would only just woke up. Being considered dull or persistent was worse. How was your trip? Well, that was unexpected. Uh, um, it was nice. Hmm? That's good to hear. Okay, well, I honestly don't know how I feel about this whole interaction. Okay, so we get, we get like to the height of things and it lowers down to like, okay, and then heightens up again. So of course now we know the king is sending people to check in on the Grand Duke. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this king is poisoning or doing stuff to harm the Grand Duke for not being by his side. And he's really trying to get rid of him. That's why I feel, and I think the Grand Duke knows, but he's just not going to tell his family, especially Parashati, about it. Um, I don't know, but their interaction, like, I'm hoping for more of a little bit of a friendship, like a really close friendship between them, maybe romance, but maybe this part here where, like, they're walking together is kind of opening that door, but... I don't know how I feel about that ending. All right, guys, I'm just pondering.
Uh, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!